Welcome to my version of bullet casting. Uh, these are the things you're going to need. It's not real hard. Start off with, I've got a tin can to put slag in, the impurities from the molten lead. I have some soft lead. This lead happens to be from uh, the little chimneys that go on top of roofs. I have some wheel weight lead. I have a tiny little piece of tin that's about one ounce. Safety glasses. Two cycle motor oil. Q tips. The Allen wrenches that fit my mold. Candle. Also used to get impurities out. Got the lead pot. Ingot mold to put under the lead pot. An old spoon to clean up impurities. Screwdriver for this lead pot. Sometimes it drips and you can use the screwdriver to fix that problem. mallet for opening up your mold, a t-shirt, bungee cord, and a bucket with water in it. And then finally, the mold. This is an NOE Night Out Engineering Mold. We're going to make some 45s today. Uh, there are 197 grain semi wad cutters. So we're going to get started. So, concerning my lead, the soft lead that I have, I made these out of soft lead poured into baking tins that. You put little miniature cupcakes in. Let's see if we can hear this. The soft lead makes a distinct sound. It's pretty dull. This is the wheel weight tin. It has a distinct sound. The tin, I don't know if it makes a sound or not because I buy them like this. So, that's what you can use to determine what kind of lead you have. This is how we're going to use the bucket with the water in it, combined with the t-shirt and the bungee cord in our process. The water in here is not very deep, it's only about to here. And what we're going to do is we're going to water quench the bullets. Now, we don't want to just drop the Molt the, the, the hot lead in there. Uh, we don't want it splashing out, and particularly not splashing out and getting into our lead pot. So, what I've done is I've taken an old t shirt and I've cut a hole in there that's about big enough for those bullets to slide through fairly easy. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it over the top of the bucket and I'm going to push it down until it's touching the top of that water. Take the bungee cord and simply just use that to hold it in place. And what we're gonna do is, after we make our cast, we're going to open up the sprue cutter, hold our mold like this. That'll knock the hot bullets into the water and get them quenched super quick. Now we don't want this sitting right up here by the lead pot. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to set it down here on the ground. So there's no way the water's going to come from there and get up in this lead pot. If you get water in your lead pot, you get what's called a surprise visit from the tinsel fairy. 
bad thing. You don't want that. So we're going to get our lid started. We've got the pot plugged in. I'm going to put in five of these soft lids. I'm going to use about that much of this wheel weight. I like to do about, for every one pound of soft lead, I like to put in a pound of wheel weight. That's what I like to do. And then in this particular pot, I throw in the one ounce tin. What this does is it helps create a really nice looking bullet without any wrinkles or uh, imperfections. So we're gonna put some lead in here and get it started. So while we're waiting for the lead to melt, let's go over how I'm going to prep my NOE mold. Uh, we want a little bit of lubricant on there. We want to put lubricant on the bottom side of the cutter here, the sprue cutter, on top of the face here, or on top here. And uh, that's pretty much it. And it's real easy to do. I'm going to take a Q-tip some of this two cycle oil. This is just standard two cycle oil like you'd use in a boat motor. It doesn't take much. We're gonna put a little bit on the Q-tip, just like so. We're gonna put it on the screw cutter plate. Now you don't wanna get it in the little holes because if you get oil, into the holes or the cavities it is a pain and a mess if you're casting it's it's not a killer but it's something you want to avoid if you can now we're going to put some right here once again we don't want to get in the cavities and i take the other side of the q-tip and just kind of clean it off a little bit it doesn't have to be sopping wet that's for sure There we go. I'm also going to take my Allen wrench, and I don't want to tighten these up too tight, but I do want them snug. Just like that. So while we're waiting for our lead to melt, this is a good time to preheat your mold. I highly suggest preheating your mold. It'll save you a lot of hassles. And to do it, this is just simple. Just setting it on top of the pot. And while the lead's melting, the mold will be warming up. So the lead's been out here heating up. The mold's been heating up. Everything's ready to go. Since we are dealing with this molten lead, we want to make sure we use the proper glasses to make sure we don't get any molten lead in our eyes. What I'd like to do first, I'm going to take this spoon, skim across the top and get the impurities out. There's not a lot, but there's there's some that goes in there and what we can do in addition to just doing that I like to take the candle and just stick it in there and it doesn't take very long just a second or two what that will do is it'll get all those impurities together so you can get get it even that much more clean what the lid looks like now. 